Your one of his dawn. Sammy Lee here. PG Gate. Damn, bruh. Um, that bit, man, this was crazy. That was, it was pretty crazy, dude. Uh, you know, they, they, I was watching, I had Sports Center on the background. I don't really watch TV, I just have it on the background when I'm on my iPad. That's all, all my TV uh, serves for me. But, um, this was like non stop on Sports Center. It was everywhere. I mean, they just kept dude. playing. I was everywhere, like, this is nuts. man. And um, it's not the first time that's happened in, in. I think it's happened like twice. Like it happened to Manu Ginobili. Remember that? Yeah. And I think the, the, I don't remember what shoe exactly what it was, but I think it was a Nike shoe. Yeah, he, he wears a lot of Kobe's. I'm not sure if it was a Kobe. Yeah, I don't remember. And it happened to another guy that was wearing the Jordan Tens. Uh, so uh, that was very interesting. But yeah, seeing the video, he was actually going like to go like like this. To yeah. do a really hard lateral movement and switch, you know, have a really fast and hard change of direction. Yeah. And then it hit the, the PG 2.5 just couldn't handle it. So we, we had like a million DMs, not a million, but we had a whole bunch of DMs you, know, you guys sent over, sent, sent over. And, um, you know, like a lot of you guys thought it was the PG 3. So I was like, no, it's not. It's the PG 2.5. So, yeah. Uh, so that let's just get out of that out of the way. It, it, it was the PG 2.5, the older one. Um, but you can't really, but what I'm going to say is you can't really blame the PG-2 for this happening. You know what I'm saying? Because like, Zion's like 280, 265, yeah. whatever, whatever. He's heavy as shit. And you know? what happened here is a perfect storm. Okay, you have a massive dude who is putting probably some of the most torque on a shoe. In the world. In the world, ever, maybe ever, doing an extremely forceful maneuver yes um you know and you know his foot was kind of way out i mean the level of torque he's putting that was just ungodly yeah and the traction was biting hard enough to just really rip that shoe open i mean there's but, definitely shoes that that wouldn't have happened in yeah yeah that's for sure yeah um, but you know it's a game you're playing trying to have a light minimal shoe but still have it be supportive enough but these shoes look kind of old and worn out though, to be honest. That's another thing. Yeah, I don't think these were like completely new. I think he's, he tried breaking them in or something and um, they, they were just a little old and this is this, that's how it happened. It just kind of sucks that it happened like the first possession, first minute of the game. And people paid like what, $3,500 yeah. <laughs> to watch Zion Williamson play for like 10 seconds, you know? But also another cool thing is like the shoe didn't break apart at the seams. Yeah. He exploded the midsole, man. That's crazy. That is insane. So it, it just shows how strong the stitching and everything and the glue is. Yeah. So it's the midsole that couldn't hold. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like uh, maybe uh, it can't really be a defect. I don't really know what happened here, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, that's why, you know, most NBA players switch shoes they, they play in new shoes like all the yes. time yes i you know mean they'll, they'll go like maybe a few games and a pair of shoes and just throw them away yeah and get a new pair they want a, a crispy crispy pair yeah so um I, I don't think it had anything to do with uh the pg 2.5 being bad or anything um especially lockdown wise there's a lot of comments that oh yeah nike pg pg suck now blah 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 but i, I don't think it is design is just a, a freak of nature he's a freaking beast but that's not the shoe I would recommend for him. <clears throat> I mean, if you, I think he should have been playing the fives. I think the fives would have been good, you know, like the Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, Kyrie for five. sure. Kyrie five. Or LeBron, or you know, yeah, yeah, something yeah. with a you know, ungodly amount of support. Yeah. That's still like the Kyrie five isn't bad because it's still minimal and responsive, right? Yeah. But it's super, super uh, supportive. Yeah. Someone his size, see, he's not just like a big man. Like who's not really doing much. This dude is windmill East Bay dunks in game. You know what I mean? And that big, so you know you gotta have a super supportive shoe. Yeah, uh, hope he's okay though. I mean, I, he has a the the report came out. He has a mild MCL sprain, so like he slipped on his. I think it was his left foot. Yeah. And then he put all the force on his right. You know. Oh, that's what out. he heard. Yeah, and then his right knee went in. in. Right. So it caved in like this, and he fell. He obviously he put all his weight on one knee like that. God, he's lucky that, he didn't really yeah. blow something, man. Dude, that would have sucked. And like, if if it was Nike's fault, I mean, Nike's already taking a lot of shit. Their stock and everything went down a lot after this happened. 
and also the Kobe forward Brocho having you know not full length zoom I think maybe that has a little bit to do with that as well but yeah dude uh, this is crazy you will be fine other people will be fine don't don't say the PG yeah, you're, you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna, doing that dog don't fly yourself <laughs> you're, you're not you gonna know? be doing this to your shoe you know so um, yeah just want to address address the Zion Williamson you know we've been, we've been getting a lot of uh, comments and stuff DMs asking like you know the PG2s or 3s suck um, look at the lockdown I don't know if some of them are jokes but you know um, I, I'm sure you guys will be fine and they're pretty nice performers so uh, if you guys can see it on sale the PG2 PG2.5 then uh, I heavily suggest that you do you do get it because it's a pretty nice shoe to play in so um, yeah, that's just our thoughts on the Zion Williamson PG 2.5 fiasco. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next one. Later, peace.